What's up? We're going to talk about regular polygons. Regular polygons, of course, those are polygons where all the sides and angles are the same. I've shown some examples here, and you can see that all of those regular polygons can be inscribed inside of a circle. Uh, that's not true of all polygons. There are lots of polygons where you couldn't necessarily circumscribe a circle around it. But because of the symmetry that those regular polygons have, you can see that they all can be circumscribed you can all have a circle circumscribed about them or have them inscribed in a circle. Uh, that's going to become in interesting later. But let's take a look at how we might calculate the area of these figures. I'm going to zoom in on, in this case, a regular pentagon. Now, I've divided it up into five triangles, and that's going to be the number of triangles will be correspond to the number of sides if we just connect the center to each of those vertices. Um, and so we've got those five triangles, and so if I'm interested in finding the area of the polygon, I could just find the area of one of those triangles and multiply it by how many sides there are, in this case five. So if I took, if I wanted to find the area of that triangle, sorry, pen's not working, let's try that again. I want to do area of a triangle is, of course, one half base times the height. So if the side of the triangle is the base, and that's the height of the triangle. To find the area of that, I would just do one half times the base times the height, and then I just take that and multiply it by five, because there's five of those triangles, one for each side. Well, I'm going to reorganize this formula a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite it as one half times the height times the base times 5. Well, why did I do that? Well, what is the base, the length of the base, multiplied by 5, the number of sides? Well, if you look carefully, that's base, 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 base. That's just the perimeter of that polygon. So a simpler way to describe this is to just say it's 1 half the height times p being the perimeter of that polygon. So to find the area of that, of that polygon, we can simply do 1 half times the height times the perimeter. Taking this a step further, I've got some new vocabulary for you. In a regular polygon, what I see here is the height, which is just the distance from the segment that goes from the center of that figure, the center of that polygon, goes to this directly to a side, so that it goes directly perpendicular to any of the sides, so that one or that one or that one, uh, that segment is called an apothem. Oh wait, that's wrong, that's an opossum. I'm talking about an apothem. Sorry about that. It's called an apothem. So that again is a segment from the center that goes perpendicular to the side, and this is specifically in a regular polygon. So taking that formula one step further, that height is really the apothem. So the area of a regular polygon can be found by doing one-half times the apothem times the perimeter. And that's how you can calculate the area of a regular polygon. One more piece of vocabulary. Um, we talk, I talked about it being inscribed in a circle, so I'm going to kind of continue with that. So if we think about that center point being the center of a circle, we can also call that the center of a regular polygon. So it's the same term, center, and it kind of means the same thing, even though it looks a little different inside of a polygon. We can also have a radius of a polygon. That sounds crazy, right? But yes, we can have a radius of a polygon. Um, and going back to this figure, a radius of our polygon is simply, let me get some more junk out of the way, the radius of our polygon is simply any of those segments that go from the center to a vertex of the polygon. So that can be called a radius of the polygon. That's all for now. Thanks.